Hi, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video here. Uh, I'm doing another video for some outdoor tech. Uh, in this case, something that a lot of people could use when you're away or you're camping in a more primitive site or you're definitely away from power and you need power to charge your electronics. Charge your camera, charge your phone, uh, charge a GPS unit. Um, who knows? There's lots of different things you can obviously use in the outdoors that do require electricity. And of course you can't carry a whole bunch of batteries and everything typically now runs on rechargeable batteries. So, that uh, is this. So, essentially, this is it's called solar paper. It's made a co by a company called Yolk. Uh, it was a Kickstarter project that I backed. Um, solar paper is the world's uh, lightest and smallest solar panel. Um, essentially, it's the neat thing about it is it's expandable. Uh, so, I actually ordered what, uh, the 10 watt system so I can actually, in a bright setting, Today is not bright at all. There's no sun at all other than the clouds, right? Um, but in a, a great setting, I can get up to 10 watts with this guy with the various panels that I have. The beautiful thing about these is that they are expandable. So if I, I just took it off and now it's receiving sunlight on here, uh, it's saying that I'm getting, uh, I don't know if I get out of the way, not quite five, under four volts, but as soon as I add a second one of these guys, and they're all done by magnets. The power is going to come together. Now I'm at five volts, which obviously five volts is what's going to be USB power. So I can connect another guy here. Now I'm at 5.3 volts. And of course, amperage is going to change significantly with each of these as well. So for instance, there's going to be, maybe I'll uh, change the video angle so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So this is how it kind of comes packaged here, how I have it packaged. Um, you take them out, you can lay them out. Uh, they do come with clips to actually hold these together. You can see the holes. I can actually put those together so they can't come apart so easily um, because they are just small magnets here. But let's say I get all four of those laid down because on a day like this, I'm gonna probably wanna use all four of them to make sure my, I charge my gadget good. And so in this case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the USB. Uh, and on this one, they, they do have one for Apple devices and one for non-Apple devices. And it actually has a, a, an automatic reset in there. So if it loses sun and it finally gets enough sun to automatically restart charging. So I am charging my phone. In this case, I'm not going to get full amperage out of this. However, the thing is, is that even with as little sun as I'm getting through the clouds on a day like today, which is just a rainy day, I'm getting enough to actually charge my device. So. This is an iPhone 6S Plus, one of the larger iPhones, obviously. And to be able to charge that in the day like today is pretty awesome. Now, let's see if I actually start pulling these off, if anything actually happens. So there, I took it off. It knew I took it off, and then it reset. It automatically reset itself to start charging again. It's still charging. Still says it's charging even on this, but however, we're not pulling enough amps probably to do much of anything. Now, and now we're bouncing up a little bit. Get my shadow off of it. Obviously in a day like today where there's just not a very much light, even a little shadow will cause it to, to bounce back out. But it is charging. With four panels here on a really, really, really cloudy day, I'm actually being able to charge this just fine. Yeah, it's coming in and out. I guess it did, a dark cloud just kind of went over. I wonder if it's going to rain again. But you can see how it's keeping resetting itself. actually impressed that it keeps resetting itself but at the same time you wish that you'd have enough power to actually juice it ah, I'm getting a little rain oh well that's what happens solar energy is not all the time right so I have used this on a brighter day and a brighter day it works flawlessly on a really dim day I was actually ex didn't expect it to really do much of anything I was able to charge it a little bit but it was cutting in and out there when that storm cloud the rain cloud kind of moved over um, but I'm gonna go over these too so the little they give you a little guy here so this guy has 
these little chain link gray guys along with some small basically nuts and plastic nuts and bolts and essentially what you do is you actually put two panels together using the nuts and bolts the little plastic guys here uh, and using those two little eyelets that I was talking about earlier so I place them together magnet them together now the magnets you know they will come apart uh, and supposedly on the new series yokes they actually put stronger magnets so they actually stay together better but you put these little chain link guys here you know on each panel that you're going to use so that let's say if you strap this on the back outside of your pack or something it's going to stay connected because it's not going to disconnect because you got them hard soldered together now if i was to say anything about these that's kind of an annoying little guy to keep track of right you lose one nut or one i mean obviously hopefully they you know you have plenty of extra because you lose one and uh now that's one less panel you're able to keep on the outside of your pack uh so if it was me um now i like i said i really do like this product i like this but this is going to be more i would not orient this towards the backpacker mainly um that's trying to put it on the outside of the pack while he's doing more rugged terrain uh, day hikers or hike you know hikers in general um, being able to stop or when you get to your campsite you throw this in at the campsite fine there um, they do even get I even you know got the little uh, carabiners with guy alley lifts that you can actually on all four corners and strap it to a pack it works fine for that but being able to lose these would really be uh, annoying now obviously they give you a little container to keep them in however if you're walking and one starts loosening up and falls apart, it's it's over with. So if I was to say one thing to the company is figure out a better solution than this, because I'm pretty sure that somebody can come up with a, a one piece clamp on solution. So you push it through and then you clamp it, you're done. There's no little nuts and bolts. Um, then these would be perfect for about anybody that would use them. I would think that's something that has like maybe a piece like a hard rubber with two solidified something on it that you can snap something on the top and I'm sure that somebody could actually make their own with this but these while they work perfectly I would have a hard time going out in the backcountry and, and worrying about losing those little nuts and bolts because just taking it off your pack you could lose them so uh, that's my two cents about that uh, they do give you a micro USB cable to charge a micro USB device uh, in mine you know it like Camp, like my uh, my Sony camera that I'm actually filming with would be able to use this to charge up the, the battery that's in that um, and they like I said they do have on the top here Apple USB port and non Apple USB port and then of course they give you the display that you can actually see what's going on and their little slogan plug into the Sun in that cube pretty awesome very lightweight very packable very nice the only thing I would change is the clips that they give you and other than that, I love this product. I love how small it is. I love how lightweight it is. Uh, about everything about it, I love. And they give you all the goodies about it. Now, like I said, I bought the 10 watt solution, which is all four panels. You can get it in a five watt, which is two panels, seven and a half watt, three, 10 watt, four, 12 and a half watt, and 15 watt. So you can expand this guy to fit your needs. A 10 watt solution is gonna, you can actually uh, charge like an iPad with it. So. Um, if you needed more or charge multiple gadgets at the same time, obviously accordingly. So, uh, that is the solar paper by Yoke. And one more thing I shouldn't, I, I didn't even actually show you is they do give you a nice little bag. Now it's a little, all it is is kind of like a, a, a little envelope type bag, right? So nothing fancy about it, but it does kind of demonstrate how small these guys are because even with four of these, you slide it into here, and now you got a place to just slide it in. Now, they, it is IPX64 rated, so it is water resistant. Uh, the only one thing would be the one thing that they actually have these guys on here, the USB ports. Um, they are steel, so they can corrode. If you get, like, if you get salt water on any of this, I would definitely, you're definitely gonna wanna wash it off. But at the same time, if you get any kind of water up in here, um, you're gonna wanna get it dry as soon as you can. Uh, dry it out before you, you know, maybe put it in the sun and get it, uh, electricity flowing through it. 
but it is IPX64 and so if water rain or whatever gets on here it's not going to damage anything so it's on your pack and it's raining it's if it's a heavy pour I would probably want to get it under but a light rain I wouldn't even worry about it so that is the solar paper by Yolk a pretty awesome product and yeah if you have any questions or comments post those below I'll try to answer anything I can for you subscribe to the channel share our channel check us over at all the social media at Camp Geeks definitely check out our website campgeeks.com we'll probably have some more photos things like that there otherwise we'll catch you on the next video thank you for watching